today we're going to be talking about an Italian classic called lasagna. It's basically layers of pasta and in between you have more layers of meat sauce, a ricotta cheese, a mozzarella cheese. There are several types of lasagna. There's vegetarian lasagna which doesn't use any meat or dairy products. It's usually made with uh, vegetables. Um, then there's the better known types such as the meat lasagna. Now my mother, Sicilian, always made it with ricotta only. Um, the Sicilian version uses a sausage perhaps and then another version will use just meat sauce. Um, not sure how these got their names but today we're going to be making my favorite which is a combination of meat and alternating layers of ricotta. The lasagna itself you could really use any kind um, they made some no-boil lasagna, which saves you a few steps. But the truth is, is that while this stuff is great when you're making your layers because it's firm, I don't like the taste or the texture as much. So I like the good old-fashioned way of doing it the long way, which is to boil the pasta first, let it cool down, stick it in some ice water, boil it just short of the package instructions sometimes because it's going to spend another half hour, hour or so in the oven. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that too much. If you've got a good quality pasta, it's always going to stay firm. The Checo is my favorite and that's what they usually serve in better restaurants. First things first, prep all your ingredients. That means dicing the onions, getting out the tomato sauce, all the herbs and spices you need. Have everything in front of you and in their proper measurements so you could just go ahead and cook and not worry about going back and forth, going back and forth. So we start our pot on medium low. We shred some garlic in there. Add a tiny bit of salt, and pepper, get that going. You want to cook those onions till they're translucent. And after a few minutes, you'll see them turn yellowish and you'll smell them. You can use what kind of beef you want. Some people might use pork, a combination of pork, veal, and beef. I just like good old-fashioned plain beef. Add some pepper and stir it up until it's brown on all sides. You want to get that beef brown on all sides. You want it to have a nice, there's no red in there. You want it to be all brown. Keep stirring it, breaking it up. Add your red pepper flakes. Add some tomato paste. Stir it up again. If you're going to declaze with a little bit of red or white wine, now's a good time to do it. Get up all those brown bits off the bottom of the pot, and that's going to actually add flavor. And while that's simmering, we put in our tomato sauce. And I always like to rinse the can out with a little bit of water so we get all the tomatoes, but that also stretches the sauce, and there's no sense in wasting it. Next, you could add your basil or parsley if you have it. Fresh herbs are always best. I wouldn't add anything dry at this point. Stir it up and let it simmer for about an hour or so. While that's being done, what you want to do is grate your mozzarella and your Parmesan cheese. They should be separated. Mozzarella shreds very easily, so you want to put it in the freezer for a little bit, like maybe a half hour, so it's, it's not frozen solid, but it is to the point where it won't shred when you go to grate it. Next, we prepare the ricotta. I'm only going to use about half a container of this, which is about a half a pound. I'm going to scramble one egg, chop some parsley, a little bit of salt and pepper, grate some Parmesan cheese on there, and we stir it all up. Probably should have used a bigger bowl than this, because you don't want to get it all over the counter. And you're probably going to have a little bit left over, but that's fine. We set our oven to 375 degrees. And while that's preheating, we take some of the sauce and we put it at the bottom of a glass casserole. Again, here I'm using the no-bake lasagna, but I do prefer to boil the regular lasagna. And again, it gets a little slippery, but it's easier to cut and maneuver too. Then we lay down a thin layer as we can of the ricotta. We put down another thin layer of pasta. And we add a layer of meat sauce on top of that. 
another layer of pasta to separate it. I use more meat sauce in here. You could alternate any way you like. There are no rules. Do it the way you like. I happen to put two layers of meat. I didn't want all that ricotta because I was getting to the top of the dish and I, I didn't want it to be too heavy with all that cheese because now I am going to put a layer of mozzarella cheese on top. And then I'm going to grate some Parmesan cheese over the top and we're going to loosely cover it with tin foil. Again, I didn't want to put it to the top because I didn't want all the mozzarella sticking to the top of the tin foil. And you're going to want to bake it like this for at least a half hour. You got to check on it. And once you see it's nicely melted, then we take the top off. You see some of it sticking there. And then you want to let it continue to bake until the cheese is your desired doneness. And what I mean by doneness is, how do you like your cheese? I like my nice, dark, golden brown. I like it fully melted. I like a little bit of crunch to it. Very important let this rest. You want to let this rest on the sofa. This is just boiling over. You want to wait for this to cool down at least 15-20 minutes, maybe a little bit more. Don't worry, even in a half hour it's still going to be warm. And there you have it. You have your lasagna. Thin layers of pasta, meat sauce, ricotta, mozzarella. Absolutely delicious. Small piece may look small, but trust me, this is very, very filling. You don't want to eat twice as much as this. You definitely want a smaller piece. There you go, the Italian classic, lasagna. Until next time, bon appetit.